We believe in being honest on this show nearly to a fault, which yep. is uh, it's kind of uh, worked out. So I do ask, Riley, if you have something you are going through, you want some unfiltered, like, straight to the point um, advice, you want to move your microphone, hoodie? It's but Okay, well, I'm going to turn you off real quick. Oh, there we go. All right. So there we go. No. Yeah, first day back alive in the studio, everything's broken. Yeah. And, and the best part is, I'm sure that mic was broken two weeks ago. Whoever broke uh, yep. this didn't want to say anything. Yep, yep. Yeah, there is. Isn't, that, isn't that how that goes? <laughs> uh, so you ask Riley. Uh, usually Eric Reads, he is uh, out today. Usually Eric Reads, that's a funny sentence, isn't it? <laughs> right? Eric Reads, when he's asked to read for the uh, show, so Hoodie's going to read the question. Riley's going to answer. It's Ask Riley on your morning show. What you got, Hoods? Hey, Riley. Hello. Happy New Year, everyone. I know it's been a crazy, blessed year for you, so this may sound strange. I also got married and had a baby all in the same year, and now I feel kind of a a weird letdown. Don't get me wrong. I love my life, but I have this weird sense of, okay, what now? Did you ever feel that way? Well, first of all, congrats on baby and wedding. And second of all, you are not alone. A hundred percent in that. Like, I felt like 2021 was the most magical year of my life, but then immediately after, I was like, like, I almost kind of equate it to, like, that athlete that gets the gold medal at 16. Mm-hmm. And you're like, okay, well, now what? Sure. Because I had waited my entire life to find Marshall. The wedding was absolutely my big Cinderella moment. It was. It was. Are you being sarcastic? You no, I enjoyed it. I mean, I had, <laughs> yeah. I had all of my friends and family around me. It was just this big culmination of so many things for Marshall and myself. And then all of a sudden, it's just done. Like, and it was two years whole life and two years in the making because we had to replan it because we had the birth of baby Malin and COVID and it sounds narcissistic but it's this big moment where everybody is catering to you everybody's paying attention to you there's a lot of money there's all these photos there's the honeymoon right thereafter and then it's back to real life which let's face it real life is amazing but for me to combat that moment afterwards I was like okay now we got to figure out what the next goal is. Sure. Because I'm a person that I got to keep going forward or I will sit in that and your wedding will soon become like the guys that are still talking about high school. Yeah. And I know I have been annoying as hell on Instagram with no. my wedding photos wow. and posting them <laughs> every that? minute. Any question. <laughs> oh, wait. What color is your favorite flower? Oh, you want to see my wedding bouquet? Mm. What's your favorite <laughs> shoes? Oh, you want to see my wedding shoes? Constantly. What's your favorite type of wedding dress? Um, wedding dress? Which one? <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> no. So I get that like minute of like a letdown. And I, Marshall's always like, well, now it's time to just enjoy life. And I was like, yeah, that's because you were stressed out the whole wedding time and you hate photos. Yeah. But I do, that. you're not alone in that. Like a lot of people have told me there's that like post wedding, like stress or sadness or whatever. Somebody actually said that to me at the wedding that they were like, well, you know, now next time you go to somebody else's wedding, you're going to be like, but it's no more wedding. Mm. And I mean, I think that's okay. I think it's a normal thing to feel that sometimes people don't talk about. And it doesn't mean that you're not grateful for your life as is. It just means, you know, there was a lot of attention on you, a lot of big life moments that happened in a small amount of time. But for me- Completely out of order. Can I just cut you out for a second? Because you guys met- and then got engaged six months in. Mm-hmm. So usually it's like you, know, you meet, date, everybody gets, oh my God, they've been dating for a year. That's amazing. Oh my God, nope. dating for two years. Oh my, they're engaged. I mean, how we do stuff. And then, uh, <laughs> oh my God, they got married. And oh my God, there's a baby. That's not how we do it. You, oh, don't forget you, the house was in there oh, before yeah, the wedding. Oh yeah, there's a house. There's just, uh, yeah, there's just a lot. I mean, oh, yeah. that's the thing is like we did do it backwards as per se. That was like we met six months later. We we're engaged. We were going to get married a year later. No yes. COVID. Then baby Malin, most beautiful blessing ever because we did lose one within there and we were praying for to yeah. have a healthy baby. And we did. And there was just all of this great blessing and excitement out of order. And then all of a sudden we're like, because most people have a house to get after the wedding. They have a baby after the mm. wedding or big things after. Have another one. No, thank you. I love my family just the way it is, no, and I like my podcasting room yeah, right where it is. It? I'm gonna will this into existence. Stop, stop, Riley. You are gonna have Quit a it. baby this year. <laughs> no, I, this I, year. stop yourself. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. That was not on my like, 2020 view vision board. Yeah. nor was it Marshall's. I, you need to quit. I it. knew Malin was alive before Malin knew he was alive. You did There's actually. A, you you did first, actually. Remember 100%. that story. 100%. So I posted a uh, picture with Marshall and I on 4th of July, literally was pregnant maybe a week, didn't know it. And I said, mom and dad, John texted me and he was like, you want to tell me something? Mm-hmm. And I was like, what are you talking about? He's like, mm-hmm. it looks like you're pregnant in that picture. I was like, oh, no. Sure enough, we go to Virginia. Remember, I was super tired. Yes. I didn't want to do anything on the trip. Yes, I remember. And I was just like dead to the world. <laughs> Turns out I was prego. By the way, I didn't say it looked like you were physically pregnant. I said that no, photo it made selfie. it seem like you yes, looked like yes, this. Yes, yes, let's clarify. Because the caption just said mom yes. and dad. Period.
period. 100%. And I was just talking about me, Marshall, and Lyric, yes. but I guess Nostradamus or whatever. I can't wait for a baby number thing. Wait, and I can't. There's a mom with three M's in it. Stop! That's how we're gonna, I, can't, I can't wait for it. And watch. And if you name third kid like Chris, I'm going to be like, well, that doesn't make sense. <laughs> no, we can't do that, can we? But we're not having another one. Quit <laughs> okay. it. If you haven't asked Riley, you can DM her at Riley Couture. Yeesh. It's your morning show.